So far, in terms of our shortcuts to prove congruence, we've talked about side, 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 angle, side, and angle, side, angle. And those were all postulates. We could accept them as true without needing the proof. So let's take a look at this example. Looking at these two triangles, is this an example of angle, side, angle? Recall that angle side angle is when you have an included side between the two angles. So if I look here, I have that angle um, B is congruent to H, and C is congruent to G, and side AB is congruent to HI. This side is not the included side. It's not the included side. So this is actually angle angle side. But I think we know something about these two triangles. What do you know, or maybe let's specifically talk about these angles. Look at angle I and angle A. What could you say about those two angles? It might make it easier if maybe we put some angle measures in. So let's say that this angle is 50 degrees, right? That would mean that H is 50 degrees. And let's say that, um, I don't know, let's say that angle C is, let's say, 60 degrees, okay? What would you then know about angle A and angle I? They would each have to be how many degrees? 70. So we could actually deduce here that angle A is congruent to angle I. That is a theorem. This is a theorem known as the third angles theorem. The third angles theorem states, and you're going to write this down, if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the third angles are congruent. Notice this is a theorem. So it is a theorem, that means that we need to prove it. Now, to go through the whole proof, which we can, we could go through the whole proof. Um, that proof involves using the triangle sum theorem and substitution. I'm not going to go through the whole proof for you. You can find it in your book um, in section 4.2. Um, but again, something you should be familiar with. It would be something I would definitely um, assume that you can prove on your own. So if you need help with that, come see me in directed study. But because of that third angles theorem, we actually have another congruence theorem, which helps us with this problem we were just looking at, right? Um, we would automatically see that, okay, A is congruent to I, because the other two corresponding uh, angles are congruent, so we could say that the third angles are congruent. Therefore, if the third angles are congruent, now can we say that the triangles are congruent? Well, I'm gonna have these angles congruent to, to each other, and this is angle, side, angle, angle, side, angle. Therefore, we have another congruence shortcut, but this one is a theorem called the angle, angle, side congruence theorem. The angle, angle, side congruence theorem states that if two angles and a non-included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the non and the corresponding non-included sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So we're going to go through this proof, the angle angle side uh, congruence theorem, because I feel like it's, it's more value, valuable to you to see how you could prove the triangles congruent. But again, that third angle congruence theorem is going to be helpful for us here. Um, we do want to, although we didn't formally prove it, we talked that you can prove it, you could find it in your book. So put that third angles congruence, or the third angles theorem in your reasons bank. And then after we prove this theorem, we could add it to our reasons bank. So I'm going to set this up. Um, and we're going to prove it out. So let's see what we got. So statement, reasons. All right, so we know that segment AB is congruent to segment IH. Angle B is congruent to angle H. And angle C is congruent to angle G. 
All right. We want to prove the triangle is congruent. Now, we are not going to be using angle, angle, side here because that is what we are trying to prove. Okay? But all of our information is marked. And now what we're going to say is that angle I is congruent to angle A. And this is an example of the third angles theorem. So we can mark that. Statement three, we're going to say, um, oh, then we're done, I guess. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle IHG. And this is by angle side angle congruence. I guess we don't have to write. Okay.